Uh, Keiston, what hit you after one and three, <coughs> excuse me, that led you to believe that, hey, all's not lost here. We can, uh, we can still have a pretty good year. Uh, I've been there before, uh, coming from Duke. Uh, we've been down and out before, but um, we just use that as motivation to work that much harder and put ourselves in a better position so we don't have that feeling anymore. And then you just trust the process and you just believe and you keep fighting as a team. What is What has been the key offensively to just getting out there and trying to be as consistent with both guys going back and forth? Yeah, just uh, buying into the system. Uh, Coach Durden, um, as well as the rest of the offensive staff, put a lot of good plays in for us, have some good plans for us to go out and do. And um, we just bring each other along. If somebody's not understanding, we pick it up and um, help you know, bring that person along or vice versa. You know, They help me if I don't understand. And uh, we just lean on each other more than anything. Uh, just just so we have a better understanding. What is the biggest difference between Joe and Bo when you're in the middle of a drive, or if there is a giant difference? Yeah, there isn't much of a difference. Uh, I said in my last interview, you know, the first thing that we did when we got here was go throw footballs, and we talked about different things, and we we're all on the same page. So there's really no drop off between Joe or Bo. Yeah, poses to both you guys. Um, second straight win, obviously after that one and three start. Is this one, and it's against a ranked team on the road. Is this one of those things where you think you might look back at the end of the year and circle this as a possible turning point? You know that where things kind of started to click. Uh, I hope so. Um, you know, I'm just um, very glad that we were able to get that W. Um, I think we definitely needed that. Uh, boost the confidence right there against a very good main team. You know, um, they played their hearts out. We played our hearts out. So um, very good to come come out on that top of that game. But um. I think for the most part, uh, I just want to look back and say, um, you know, we put a string of them together, and uh, that was the turning point. You know, I don't want to really have to say that one game was the turning point, really. I just want to be able to say we put a string of them together, a good football, and we came out on top of those games, and um, that's what got us to where we're at, or hopefully where we want to be. Maurice, your production has increased significantly, at least statistically, over the last two games. Uh, conscious effort, turning it up anymore, or things just broke your way? Um, yeah, I've made a little bit of a conscious effort to really um, obviously play some good football. You know, I've been preparing well, thanks to my teammates and my coaches. But um, also, I wouldn't be able to play like that without them. You know, they've helped me a lot on the field and off the field, um, preparing mentally and physically. Uh, everyone's doing their jobs on defense, you know, from the back end to the nose tackle. So, um, you know, everything I have to do is just easy and being in the right spot at the right time, basically. But, uh, yeah, very, very thankful for everything they've done for me. For your front Seven totally, just you guys up front, 11 sacks in the last two games. That's a market improvement from the first couple of games. Has there been anything um, uh, like structurally different that you guys have done in practice or anything like that, or it's just taken a couple of games to come together? Yeah, I think we're just all putting it together now. You know, um, we've all really honed into our techniques up front. <clears throat> Uh, we're getting some help from the DBs with coverage sacks a lot. You know, they've been uh, sticking on to their guys very well for the last couple of games, um, like they have been for the rest of the season. So, um, yeah, just putting those two things together has gotten us really well into the backfield. You know, we've been having a good time rushing. Um, hopefully we keep it up. Keaston, can you kind of describe your touchdown against Maine and how wide open you are, how you got so wide open? And is there a challenge to catching the ball when you're that wide? <laughs> so um, it was just like a little – smoke type thing. I ran off of Charlie's uh, <laughs> off of his route again, much like the uh, Boston College touchdown. And uh, I didn't know how wide open I was. I just I saw the safety go with Charlie when he stuck the post. And I was like, well, I mean, I, I'm open. I know that much. And then Joe threw the ball. And it's it's been the same ball that he's thrown at practice, kind of those like high and outside balls. And in the back of my mind, I was like, wow, he really just overthrew me, and I'm going to have to hear it from the sideline. So I just shot my hands high, and then, I mean, it just that's where it was. So, you know, it's, it, it was the same ball at practice that I caught, and uh, it was the same look. And so, you know, yeah, I was, I was, I felt he like was we were ready for it. Incredibly wide open. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you were so wide open, I got up from the bench and put my helmet on and said, well, there's field goal <laughs> before he even crossed the 20. So <laughs> pretty wide open. <laughs> Did you watch it back on tape and say, oh, my God? Yeah, I, I looked, and I was like, wow, there was nobody right there. So I, <laughs> I definitely was running as fast as I could because I didn't know where the guy was behind me. But he just kind of turned me loose and let me run. I said, well, I could have slowed down, you know, made it easier for Joe. But, uh, no, it, I, was, I didn't know. I didn't know until then, yeah. Maurice, when you see Yale uh, on film, what do you see? 
Um, very simple. I see a good football team. You know, um, there, it looks like a team that doesn't make a lot of mistakes, a team that has good weapons. You know, um, they have a very good quarterback, very mobile, something that we've had problems with in the past here. Um, they have an experienced O-line up front, <clears throat> something that we'll, we'll probably see more going forward. So very excited to play against those guys. They have a very good running back as well. You know, they got a lot of good pieces that we got to look out for. And um, the best part about them is that they're very sound in their techniques. So we have to match that energy and just be sound in our techniques. Did their win over Fordham get your attention? Um, a little bit, you know. Anytime they, um, your opponent beats someone that you've already played, especially someone you lost to, it gets a little bit of your attention. Um, trust and believe. I'll probably watch that game three times before we get there. But um, yeah, they um, obviously they're a good football team, so we're ready for them. We're very excited to play them.